Artie, start of um, it's all for you personally. Uh, yep. What do you expect from England this week, and then what's your preparation and, and research told you about what they might bring to the game? Yeah, um, you know, we, we're talking to them, it's a different beast for us. Um, you know, we, you know, they'll be prepping of what happened in New Zealand, so we know it's going to be different. Um, we're going to expect physical, physicality. Their full packs, uh, their set piece are very dangerous, so we've got to front up physically. You've had a lot of games since then, England haven't, but how do you think the side's improved since that tour in July? I think um, that they don't only just bring their physical game, they've got a bit of razzle and swag to their game as well with Smith at 10. Um, they can play from anywhere. Um, and, you know, we saw that the last time we played them in Tukunum. Uh, we got up and they came back and we drew. So, you know, for us, we've just got to be clinical, nail our job, nail our role every moment, or we'll try to, um, and hopefully get the dub. Do you think as a group you've improved since that, that tour as well? Yeah, we have. Um, we've grown a lot um, since the two tests in New Zealand. Um, it's just a matter of coming on Saturday and nailing it under pressure. Hasn't been the happiest of hunting grounds, I suppose, last year, the, the game against South Africa, the draw of the year before that. Is there anything in that, or is it just the, the way rugby falls sometimes? Yeah, it's just, the, you know, we've, we've got to turn up, you know, and we understand how important the crowd is and um, the noise that comes with it. But um, as All Blacks, we've got to step forward and embrace that and um, walk with a smile and, and try and nail our game. Is it a special place for an All Black player, Twickenham? Yeah, it's one of the one of the greats. Um, you know, we've got a few boys that haven't played um, here in Twickenham or, ha or haven't experienced um, the atmosphere. So um, it's going to be special, but at the same time, you know, we've got to be ready um, for anything. Uh, what do you say to those younger boys that haven't experienced Twickenham? What would your message be to them about the stadium, the, the occasion, the crowd? Yeah, uh, just be ready. Um, you know, when there'll be times when England um, get up and they have momentum and it's going to feel like you're just starting to isolate. So, um, you know, always got their own processes and how they get back in the moment um, and start to see things. So, you know, we're going to expect that. Hopefully when it does come, we can breathe um, and then try and nail our next moment. Can I ask you about how the last few months have been since we came and saw you down in, in New Zealand, how the Razor project's going, where you've been improving your game over the last few months? Yeah, I think um, it's it's been it's been what's the word? It's been uh, a journey of growth, and it's uh, been a journey of connecting, coming together as a team, as a family. Um, you know, there's a lot of new personalities coming together, but I feel like we're getting there, and we are there, um, and we're starting to understand what our game is. Um, we're starting to understand the players around us, and you know, hopefully, we can connect that this week. And game plan wise. What are the key differences, do you think, from the kind of Ian Foster team that was at the World Cup to what you're trying to build now with the new group? Um, you know, rugby is a simple game. Um, and, you know, for us, if you, in rugby, if you nail the basics, you carry the ball, look after the ball, you exit well, you kick well, those are the big fundamentals for us to winning a game. And I think every coach coaches that. So for us, it's about nailing that stuff. Um, everything else just comes hopefully naturally. Adi, do you have a bit of point to prove after the way the rugby championship played out you know we're so used to the All Blacks winning that and you come up here flying but you've maybe got a bit of hurt from that though you're taking it for this author yeah every game um, as an All Black you, you, you're going out there to prove something um, it's a it's an honour to represent the black jersey um, and us as leaders you know we have to walk forward and, and that's the standard we want to maybe we haven't at, at times like you've said but that's the beautiful thing about rugby and, and life and footy is that we've got to keep going and trying to keep getting better. The well, last time, a number of really young or inexperienced All Blacks have played against England, but they've all grown, I'm thinking Tupu Bai, Caleb Clark, a few others. Give us your sense on, on the journey that uh, Wallace Satiti, that yeah. what, what they brought. I think um, those boys have come in and they've either had someone senior that um, that's taken them under the wing and for a couple of years and now they're stepping into a position where they're having to lead and they're having to um, step forward and be that guy and um, they're showing it and it's a beautiful thing to see um, you know those men stepping forward and it's just the same thing when you guys come in hopefully it's the same same process and the same thing that happens but this game and the next you will be a really big benchmark for them they'll want to see see how just see exactly how they're progressing yeah exactly um, the north is different coming over here so um, it's going to be challenging tough but yeah, what an exciting thing to be a rugby player and coming to Tokenham and getting
getting opportunity to play. How closely have you worked with Wallace TD to get him to this, the level he's playing at consistently? Um, you know, yeah, we're, we're close. Um, but, you know, he's just, yeah, he's been amazing coming into this environment. He's found what works for him. And, um, you know, he's, he's playing great footy. Um, and that's a testament to him himself and his preparation and the level headed um, and the calmness he has. So, um, mate, he's inspiring his teammates around him and that's special. Artie, can I ask you one about the, the set piece and the scrum? Yep. Um, that went pretty well when the England series was on. How's that grown over the last few years with Jason Wright coming on board a couple of years ago and what are you really targeting there with the scrum? Yeah, you know, what our front row um, demand a lot of us at the back five. I'm at the back, so I just know to trigger hard and push hard and the rest is up to the front row. But um, Jason and the, and the boys are doing a great job. Um, they give us a good throw, we're not going to do this well. But this week, we, you know, we need to get going, but it's going to be hard. Do you feel like you're still searching for the real, game, the true game plan of the All Blacks at the moment, or you, do you feel like you've got it? Um, you, you've never arrived. You've never arrived to the journey, mate, or the destination. You're always improving. Always got to look forward and improve. Once you have that mindset that you're, you're set still, then that's when you're in trouble. So us as a pack, uh, we're always looking to grow and find areas that we need to be better at. And was there any individual that? Um, impressed you from the England point of view in the summer you mentioned <laughs> Marcus Smith there yep. yeah Marcus Smith uh, mate Ben Earls has been on fire um, and his game has elevated in the last two years um, he's real class and they've got quality all over Tom Curry Sam Underhill um, they're just threats over the ball and big ball carriers so um, you know they're big threats and there's massive respect to their game so we need to you know match it we, we won on Tom Curry it seems like he'll be back and he's had a hell of a run with injuries, but looks like he'll be playing on the weekend. Like, what are your memories of playing against him have had some ah, tough mate, he's, he's, he's tough and he is, uh, he's strong. Um, and you know, for a man that's had a lot of injuries and to come back and if he's playing this week, it shows a, a huge amount of character on his behalf. So, um, played him many times and uh, yeah, it's, it's tough, it's hard, but it's a great challenge too. We think England might name their team today does that change anything about the way you prep the rest of the week if a team is announced early? Um, not, uh, not really. You know, we, we're looking to nail our game, like I mentioned, and try and nail our habits and, and what we need to achieve. Um, obviously, it'll give us an early heads up on who's playing and what, what to look for, but uh, mainly we're just going to focus on ourselves and try and nail our game. When we saw you down on, under the, in the summer, was that early two tests about just getting the job done, winning two games? kicking off the Scots time or and do you feel like you've evolved and changed what you're doing over the period since in the rugby oh, championship? You're always evolving um, you know like I said if you're if you think you can stay the same from the start of the year to now you're kidding yourself so um, as a team we're always evolving as an individual and player we're always evolving um, you know as an all black those first two games we weren't just trying to tick the box we we're trying to win uh, convincingly and and get great performances um, yeah. But that's the great thing with time. You get to bond, connect, get to understand your game plan and, and hopefully it gels. Um, so it's not guaranteed this weekend. Um, it's just all red at the moment. So um, it's up to us to put it to action. And who this plan. So are you looking at the, the sort of four as a whole? There's some pretty tasty fixtures you've got coming up over the next few months. And when we had a November like this before, it was a tough one, wasn't it? So like how has the dial shifted in the world game almost? like? decade ago All Blacks would come up here and expect to win all of them whereas it's yeah. quite different these days perhaps yeah um, part of that is taking it week by week and this week's England and you know we've got to put our full focus onto that and worry about whatever's um, on the other side Adi um, just going back to Wallace you've obviously played as National Rugby in the previous big positions where do you think that the long term gives you my light I'm not too sure um, mate <laughs> Well, for the way he's playing, he, he reminds me a bit of myself. He can play eight, seven, or six and be great at it. Not saying I was, I'm great, <laughs> but you know, he's he's quality. And um, I think Wally and myself, are, we've got the same mindset. We, we're pretty grateful wherever we are. If, if we're starting, then we're just grateful to be starting. Um, that's been my career. That's and Wally's the same. So, but he can play eight and be awesome. He can play six and be awesome, even at seven. So. Um, wherever he ends up, I know that yeah, he'll be quality.
athletically, he, he almost looks different with the way he moves, the way he gets up in the line out, moves, yeah. and the way he can move around the park. Is that is that something he's naturally got, or is or is it something you can train? I guess. Mate, he's only twenty or twenty-one. Um, he hasn't a lot of time training, uh, but it's just something that he's got, and um, that's something you don't want to tarnish, or you know, you 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 want him to flourish and keep playing the way he's playing. So, um, the nothing says just keep doing what you're doing. I'd just to brief on uh, back to Beno. Yep. Just to expand a little bit on the things that have impressed you about him and his game. Yeah, I think his his, his speed, his footwork, um, into contact. Late, late feet um, before he gets into contact he's, uh, he's strong and obviously good over the ball and that's, a, that's what you want um, of a loose forward and as an eight so he's been impressive mate um, and as a, as a loose forward to play against quality that's a, it's an awesome challenge to you know, go up against you know, the best Time to see uh, some of the squad obviously came over earlier uh, how valuable has that been in terms of kickstarting the preparation for this week? I think it has been valuable. They've uh, they trained well yesterday, but a clarity day, and they they looked um, yeah you know, a wee bit fresher than the boys had been on the plane. I think so. Yeah, it's good. You were in a slightly different role in, in July when England toured. What, what are your expectations this week around um, the way they might play at Twickenham? Um, very similar, to be fair. I think they really stretched us on a few shapes, and um, the, the kick game accuracy and the collisions were I don't think they're going to change um, so we, we're expecting the same kind of high standard as we face in both Dunedin and Auckland With the first choice players coming early I mean, in terms of the growth of this side where do you think you're at compared to the last time you saw this English? Definitely have a lot more flow um, you know first and second week coming together just how the week works and how the trainings flow and the connections of the boys um, there's a lot more rhythm in the group for sure what about that defensive challenge that England posed in July? Put a lot of pressure on you with the line speed. Do you think you've built a bit more confidence, a bit more armoury to to work your way through that on Saturday? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've had more time, so we've just had more time to build those connections and and work out what what what's required if we still see that kind of um, line speed on on the weekend. Are you expecting it? I know they've had a change in, in their management team, but you'd expect that. Won't be. Yeah, um, it'd be smart to expect it. Um, see if we can draw them out for sure um, but at the same time you've got to be able to play both and if they don't come as high we're going to have to you know, play on top of it man. Can I ask you what, what it looks like when you talk about the All Blacks being their flow right, on the field what, what does that look like for you or how do you want it to look like? I think we, we've seen glimpses you know, through the RC and, and, and the first July Internationals and last week is that the ability to keep the ball alive um, if, you, if you turn the ball over to us we can uh, we can hurt you with our, um, you know, our counter attack and our ability to to play up tempo. I think when we're at our best, that's what it looks like on attack. And the current tip. Down for this Cam Roy guard being and expanding the attacking game plan. <coughs> just talk a little bit about him and his role. Yeah, well, he's, he's only he's only just come back into the group, um, but his ability, you know, like his ability to carry and, and snipe, uh, the size of his kicking game. Um, yeah, it's it's great to have him back, and he's, he gives you. Another left footer, but a, but a real threat around the ruck. Does it still feel like you're quite early in your journey? I guess you know this coaching staff haven't been in place long at all, and obviously you had a coach leave midway through the summer. Does it feel like you're you're still sort of getting getting up to speed with the players and and things? Yeah, I, I think so. Um, you know, we've got a decent spread in that we've had, we've coached um, a lot of the group and different teams have been involved in. So so different coaches have different connections to the players, but as a group total, yeah. I think that's accurate. Like we we're, we're still um, we're quite new, and but but it's a good space to be because you you're real open to understanding each other and, and getting the best out of each other. Um, England, we think, are going to announce their team in the next few hours. Does that give you any kind of advantage? I think so. <laughs> um, yeah, if you know who you're coming up against, you can have a you know, get a good idea of, of what's coming for sure. But you wouldn't necessarily, I guess, alter your selection on the back of it. I don't think so. We we plan for for the best um, English side and then the best you know attacking shapes, and um, oh, that's not going to change now. What does playing a Twickenham to mean to an All Black set up? Um, oh, it's, it's it's amazing, and I was fortunate to you know go there as a player and then now come back as a coach, and um, it's been great to be back in the country. Um, but it is, it's a massive battle and, and to have the first one on the Northern Tour being there, it's, it's going to really um, fuel our week and give us a lot of energy. Anything different about Twickenham compared to, well, there's obviously differences, but anything particular to Twickenham that you're preparing for? 
Um, compared to um, Cardiff, Edinburgh, other places you might play on this on this tour. Um, probably the energy and the crowd, you know, using it to, to fuel, but but they're all pretty big um, stadiums, and I think the ticket sales have been pretty good for most games. So, uh, short answer, no.